Hello, we're the Hockey Shot Training System. Uh, we are Team 12, and our team is made up of Devin Burnside, a computer engineer, Eric Crow, a computer science, and Tyler Hogue, myself, an electrical engineer. Our technical advisor is Dr. Vimiri. A uh, short introduction is hockey. There are over 2 million uh, youth players worldwide, and players have to players and their families have to spend thousands of dollars a year to play the sport. It is a very expensive sport. And this is the problem. Very few youth and amateur players have the resources, physical and uh, financial, that the NHL or National Hockey League professional players have. So we wanted to develop a method or solution for a low cost hockey training system, which includes a goal to practice shooting at. Um, this system will feature smart sensors that will detect a user's accuracy and speed at the goal when they shoot and then over time the player's data will be progress and the player will be able to see how they are developing we wanted the key the key to this is we wanted to keep it cost efficient while being what our ultimate goal is and we wanted to keep this project under two hundred dollars and as you can see in our cost um data sheet in the bottom left that our total came to around 150 dollars um, this included our hockey net, our Raspberry Pi, which we chose as our uh, system that talks to our web database. And we also chose IR brake beam sensors, which give us the reading for the player's accuracy and speed. Um, we could, if we develop this system in bulk, I believe we could uh, lower our cost below $150. And if we change our sensors to more accurate sensors we would have to increase the shot the the cost but i believe that our sensors work for what we needed to in the system but on all, all we stayed below our cost all right so as far as the design for this system uh like tyler said our goal is to create a cheap uh, affordable system that uh, youth players could play uh, or use in their own homes and their garage or basement um, something that wasn't like the thousand dollars or thousands of dollars systems that you see the NHL players using um, in training facilities. So in order to do, use this design, uh, what we came up with was basically um, using those IR brake beam sensors on a shooting pad and a goal. Um, we also have a goal cover, um, which consists of basically three panels of wood that are um, basically can be taken apart and uh, stacked up into a garage or whatever. Um, and then little frames that each IR beam was placed um, into that could also be uh, detached from the goal. Um, so these IR brake beam sensors are basically placed um, in all four corners of the goal. Um, these are considered the, the sweet spots in hockey. Um, these are the corners where you're more likely to probably score on an actual goalie um, in a game. Um, and then also on our shooting pad, like I said, in the middle of our shooting pad, um, we had two other brake beam sensors. So the way the system works is uh, the player will shoot off of the shooting pad, um, triggering one of the two brake beam sensors, if not both of them. Um, a timer will then start, and basically once a puck goes through one of those sweet spots and triggers um, a brake beam sensor on the goal, uh, the timer will then stop, and we'll use that time um, with and then also the distance between the shooting pad and goal um, to calculate the shot speed. Um, our distance for the system can range from anywhere between 10 and 20 feet. Um, that's about the range most hockey players will shoot, be shooting from in a game. And then the shot accuracy is very simple. Uh, basically, it'll depend on which corner, which sweet spot, which sensor is then triggered um, on the shot. Um, another feature uh, basically is with that timer that starts on the shooting pad is if that timer reaches three seconds, um, we assume that the puck hit the goal cover or missed the goal completely and is counted as a miss um, in our system. So basically all these sensors are connected then to a Raspberry Pi, which is on the back of the goal cover, as shown here. Uh, this Raspberry Pi is set up um, as a WebSocket server, which then communicates with our web application client. Um, basically all this sensor data is sent to the Raspberry Pi and our game logic program is um, in Python, which then calculates our shot speed and shot accuracy. 
Um, the server then communicates that data or sends that data to our web application real time. Um, so we don't have to end the session in order for that information to be sent. It is sent as it is coming in um, while the player is shooting. Um, and then displayed on the web application in real time for the, for the user to see their shot speed instantaneously. Um, all this data then is stored in a database within our web application um, and displayed using different graphs and charts. Um, the different data shows which corner um, the player has hit most often, um, the percentage of missed shots, the percentage of um, each corner, as I said, and then um, the shot speeds of each shot. Um, players can end a, or take as many shots as they want in one session, um, and then each session is also stored in the database. Um, the last feature of this web application is that it can have multiple users use that um, same system. So all three of us are able to have an account and track our own shots on this one system. And overall, like I said, um, the results were great. We were able to accurately um, measure shot speed and shot accuracy, as well as um, be able to log into the web application to view our past um, shot sessions. So as for testing our system, we comp completed multiple rounds of testing. Uh, we started off with testing each individual sensor as we were wiring it up to our hockey goal. And as we added them and got them all working, we would then test each corner individually to make sure those would go off and were working properly. And then we kind of just built it up into one big system as we were testing it, making sure each part was working before moving on to the next uh, step. Um, then after we got all the sensors working on the goal, we uh, started testing the shooting pad and we tested the sensors individually first there and then we tested shooting and actually registering a shot and then re um, being able to like receive a shot in a corner. And then after that, we were able to build it up to actually um, measuring the actual speed of the shots, using uh, comparing our calculations to a radar gun and making sure that we were accurate with those. Um, then as for the web application, we started off by just testing simple features as we were adding them, and once those worked, we'd keep on building up, testing more and more. Uh, started off from just testing like some login um, and sign up routes to testing the graphs on the dashboard page to starting a session. And then once we got the web application in a good working state, we were able to start testing the Raspberry Pi communicating with our web application using the web sockets. And then we were able to test actually sending the data to our web application from the Raspberry Pi in order to show the data in real time and then put it in the database for us to add to our graphs and charts. Um, as for some challenges that we ran into while the development process was going on was um, mostly with our sensors. We started out with PIR sensors, but they were not giving us good readings. So we ended up switching to IR brake sensors, which gave us better readings and were able to use those in, uh, to get the calculations we needed. Um, some other things we ran into difficulty with, with was the web socket. Uh, we weren't sure how to approach it with being able to set up the server on the Raspberry Pi and get the web application communicating when necessary. Um, but we were able to work through that and get a working uh, connection and being able to send the data back and forth. Um, uh, some standards we used were from the International Electrotechnical Commission. Um, some of those were electric shock, um, the common rules and what of wire and wiring systems. Um, in conclusion, we were able to build a product under two hundred dollars that we could um, sell to consumers. Uh, families who have uh, youth players just want to, wanting to improve their skills. Uh, they'll be able to use our system, see their shot uh, speed and accuracy in real time, be able to compare it over time from previous sessions. Um, future work that we could do is to lower, um, lower the cost of the sensors by also, like, we also want to increase 
uh, how, how well they work and being able to make sure we can maintain the good quality of like sensors we have but try and lower the cost of those. Um, a, a lot of the things we can improve are with the web application. We can kind of make the dashboard more customizable and uh, we could add like game modes and stuff like that. We could add some interactive challenges and stuff between members um, and stuff like that. So a lot of things are within the web application. Um, and here's a demonstration of our actual product in use. This is the web application's logon screen. Once you're logged on, you will see past sessions progress. Pressing the plus sign will start a new session where instructions are given. Once the new session is started, um, the web application will start sending you or giving you live data. As you'll see, when you miss a shot, a miss will be displayed in the web application. When you hit a corner, it'll give you the shot speed as well as the shot accuracy. Um, once you're done with your shot session, uh, you can end the session by clicking the end button in the bottom right corner. Once you click the end session button, your data shows up immediately in the last session graphs and it's also added on to the last 10 sessions and the total shots. 